Okay, we're back and uh, we uh, we made that function and now it's time to do the gun on function. Okay, we saw up here. Let's see here if I can uh, get to it. That in the game on function, when game on is as uh, called on, we run a gun interval. We set an interval. Um, set interval. What it does is it'll call this function gun on after a thousand. Um, a milliseconds or one second so this is going to call our gun, gun on function so we need a gun on function right so when the game's on boom time to uh, the gun is on so what is it what are we going to do well we're going to write that function so here it is I'm going to go two lines down function gun capital O on back and open curly brace close curly brace and then I'm just going to copy that and paste it and this will be gun off okay and um, it's going to be it's pretty simple on mouse up capital M capital U on mouse up equals fire gun capital G on mouse up fire gun actually and they Let's see if that's going to work with, um, you know what, I'm going to, I don't think that's going to work with the open and close parentheses, so I'm going to call this function just like that. Since it's an, it's an on mouse up, um, since it's a handler function here, I think we need to call it with just a semicolon. So we're going to need a fire gun function, okay? And um, so when the gun is on, when the mouse, when there's a mouse click and you let off of the mouse button, it'll it'll shoot the bullet okay and we need to write that code too alright and then what we'll do is clear our interval that we had set because the interval the set interval keeps going um, it keeps running uh, repeatedly so we gotta clear it uh, clear interval whoops open and close parentheses gun interval okay we'll clear our interval so it just doesn't run endlessly and take up our processing power all right, and then for gun off, what we'll do is copy, paste, and on mouse up instead of equaling fire gun, we'll set it to null. Okay, so then we need a, another function fire gun. Okay. And here's our fire gun function. We'll start off with an if statement. Okay. If bullets. Okay. So if bullets, and what that means is, this is a boolean, so we say if bullets, what that means is the bullets variable, if it is a uh, 1 and not a 0, right? So if, if there's a, and that just means if there's any bullets at all, if there's 2 bullets or 3 bullets or 4 bullets, then this will evaluate to true, okay? But if bullets, if there's 0 bullets, then this argument will um, evaluate to false. So it's basically saying this variable bullets, if we were to treat it as a boolean, um, you know, if there's more than zero bullets, then it's true. If it's zero bullets, then it's false. Okay, so if we have bullets still in our gun, so we just say if bullets, right? If this is true, five, four, three, two, one, doesn't matter how many bullets. If we have any bullets, this will evaluate to true and we'll execute this code. We'll say root timeline. We're going to access our root timeline and we'll say bullet right that's the name of our bullets that we made plus bullet capacity right which happens to be equal five plus one so we say bullet take the string bullet and let's add on to it let's append to it six minus 
wherever our bullets are at. So if we're at bullet one, right, if there's no, we'll say if we have five bullets, then this would be bullet capacity five plus one is six minus five would equal one. So this would be effectively the string bullet one, right? So um, if we have five bullets and we would run this, we would end up with bullet one dot remove movie clip. Alright, and that will remove the um, bullet from the stage. Alright, and we can um, then on the next line, gun off. Okay, turn our gun off so that we have a little bit of delay in between each firing of the gun to add a little difficulty. Then we say, once again, gun interval equals set interval okay so this will turn our gun off and then our gun won't turn on again until almost a second so we can't just shoot repeatedly we have to um, have a little bit of a pause in there that'll add some difficulty and then we'd say bullets minus minus and that will bullets minus minus will subtract one from wherever our bullets are at, right? Okay. And so we can actually test this out right now. Let's see here. Alright, click here. One, two. Oh, there's our bullets, right? And next, and go, and as I'm shooting, I should see the bullets removing, but I'm trying to shoot, and the bullets are not removing, so we're going to have to fix that. Okay.